by Clearwater's Ian Smith. Ian, thank you very much indeed for coming on the show. Uh, great to be with you. Thanks for having me. And uh, I'm sorry uh, that uh, it's just a phone call. Technology will always fail you when you need it most. Oh, don't worry. It's great to have you in any shape or form. Um, tell us, how will this deal work now? Um, um, so premium brands is not a hard, they're not fishermen. They're not fisherwomen. They, they're not experienced in actually harvesting, harvesting something like seafood. So will the deal be that the indigenous owners of Clearwater, they'll take care of all that, the giant 21 boats, for example? Uh, so uh, th- so uh, this is, really a, a, a win for all parties here. Um, you know, it's a win for Clearwater shareholders, uh, getting strong uh, market value uh, for the shares of the company. Uh, and uh, to answer your question, this is really a win for, uh, for Clearwater, the company, because we stay intact. So uh, for the leadership, the management team of the company uh, doesn't change. Uh, the management okay. and leadership of the operations uh, don't change. So all our employees are going to be continue to do what they're already doing. Uh, we have mm-hmm. uh, two great new partners. Uh, 50% of the shares are going to be purchased by premium brands, who I know uh, that you and your viewers know very well. Uh, they're a fantastic company on a great growth track. And George mm-hmm. uh, Pelilegu, their CEO, is, uh, is a fantastic and visionary leader. Uh, and then 50% of the ownership of Clearwater will be uh, by uh, Mi'kmaq, a coalition of Mi'kmaq communities here in Atlantic Canada. And we couldn't be prouder mm-hmm. to be part of that. No, I mean, it's, it's obviously, we, we know that Indigenous communities have been left behind in economic development of the country in many cases. So that seems like an optimistic thing that uh, there'll be Indigenous ownership of half of this globally known seafood business. Absolutely. It's a fantastic and historic opportunity. So it, we believe it's the largest, largest uh, seafood transaction in, in uh, Atlantic Canada. And it puts uh, the Mi'kmaq communities uh, as uh, uh, an economic leader in uh, global uh, fisheries and in Canadian seafood. Mm-hmm. And I'd also like to add that this transaction increases the value of all Canadian seafood and all licenses uh, and vessels and all operators. uh, It just recognizes the value of Canadian seafood, which is only going to grow over time. Now, um, tell us, just looking at your own your own company, um, RBC have a, a summary of your financials here. They reckon that your revenue last year was about six hundred and sixteen million dollars, likely to drop below that, go below five hundred million this year. Is that sales drop partly because of COVID disrupting supply chains and, and markets? I'm, I, I, absolutely. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, understanding that we have a global business, we operate on four continents, and we service customers in more than 50 countries, uh, it's, it was inevitable that uh, we would have disruptions in our supply chain. Uh, uh, last year, over 25% of our business uh, was in Asia. Asia was disrupted in the first quarter. Europe and North America were disrupted in the second quarter. Uh, but things have continued to uh, improve steadily throughout the throughout the year, notwithstanding the challenges uh, that this pandemic uh, has caused, and the and the global economy will continue uh, to face. We've been able to mm-hmm. pivot. Uh, we've had a lot of food service uh, business uh, and customers disrupted in our in our uh, globe in our global business. Uh, but we've been able to shift to channels mm-hmm. uh, of business that uh, have actually benefited uh, uh, in the pandemic. So mm-hmm. more retail and more e-commerce uh, in all of the markets that we operate. Mm-hmm. Fascinating stuff, Ian. Now you have me longing for scallops and um, lobster. I think I'll try and find some for dinner tonight. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, it was my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Ian Smith, the CEO of Clearwater Seafoods.